I'm Tracy and welcome to Sweet Bay Lane. I have a question for you. When you're crafting, what are your go-to crafting supplies? Leave your answers in the comment section below. I'd love to know what yours are. One of mine is wood and much to my delight, all the different stores from the big box home stores all the way down to the dollar stores are giving us more and more great options to work with. And this project is a great combination of Dollar Tree wood along with a beautiful wood cutout from Michaels and a great little surprise from the Harbor Freight Tools that I think you're going to love. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Okay, to start this project, I start with 12 wood slats measuring 18 inches by 2 inches and two pieces of 1 by 2 measuring 12 inches long. I also have a cute little chicken wood cutout. Now, the wood cutout can be anything you choose. I just chose the chicken because I thought it was so cute, it matched my kitchen, and I found it at a great sale at Michael's. I start this palette build by laying out some wax paper. This just prevents your project from gluing to the surface you're working on. Now that my wax paper is laid down, I will start laying out my pieces of wood. I'm going to use tin for the base and I'm going to use two of those 18 inch pieces for the braces on the back of my palette along with the one by twos. Now that I have them laid out, I just start gluing them together. Now that I have all the pieces together and glued together for my wood palette, I just place some little bricks covered in plastic bags on the top braces just to keep them flat and straight so they all glue together perfectly. I then move on to prepping my little chicken wood cutout. I start by painting it a brown base, then I move on to a white cover coat. Once I have that on and dried, I give it a little bit of distressing on the edges. Now that it's distressed, I move on to the cute little decal I've chosen. I found this one, Rise and Shine, in my Silhouette store and I printed it off on my Silhouette machine in a black vinyl. I then attach it to the center of my chicken. I think my little chicken came out so cute. Now I return back to my palette sign once it's dried and everything's secure. I start by painting it a white base. I come in with some brown highlights and then I cover it completely both sides back and front in that beautiful sage green.
then once the paint's dried, I come in and give it a little bit of distressing with a 120 grit sandpaper. Okay, now that the palette's been distressed, I move on to adding a little white pinstripe frame to the outside of my palette. I start by adding the painter's tape to the outside edge directly on the outside edge of the palette, as you'll see here. Then I come in with the painter's tape and I add an inside frame, leaving just a little bit of space between each parts of the tape, as you'll see, maybe like a quarter of an inch. When that's done, I come in with my X-Acto knife and I cut out the tape that is spilled over into the little quarter inch gap. Now I come in and paint my little white stripe. Once my stripe's painted, I remove the painter's tape. I then come in and just give it a tiny, tiny, gentle little distressing. Once we have that white frame painted, we move on to our little chicken cutout. I'm going to start by flipping my chicken over and I'm going to glue these little wood blocks with some wood glue to the back of my chicken. Once the cubes have been glued to my little chicken, I set it aside to dry. I then move back to my palette and I start by drilling a hole right in the center of my palette sign. I then take these amazing remote control twinkle lights and I thread them through the hole in the back of the palette.
As you'll see here, the battery box completely clears the back of the sign due to those little 1x2 risers. Okay, great. Now that the lights have been completely strung through the back of the pallet, I move on to attaching the battery pack. I'm going to be doing this with some Velcro dots I got from Dollar Tree at the Crafter Square. I start by putting one side of the Velcro, attach it with hot glue to the back of the battery pack. I then move on and attach the other end of the Velcro dots to the Velcro itself. I then finish up by adding a little touch of hot glue to each four of the little dots and I stick the battery pack or I attach the battery pack on the back of the sign. I then flip the pallet over and I start attaching the lights to the back of my chicken cutout. Attaching the lights is a very easy process. You just bend the lights around, you'll put a little dab of hot glue, and then add a little bit of felt just to keep them attached. I then continue this completely around the outside of the chicken cutout until I run out of lights. I then, once I have my lights all attached down, I move on to attaching the chicken to my pallet sign. And I do so with some wood glue and some hot glue mixture. Once it's glued down, I just add my little plastic bag covered bricks so it can dry properly. And as you'll see here, the battery pack is perfectly attached to the back. Easily removable to change those batteries. And look at our little chicken pallet sign. And then you have that little remote, which is amazing. And let me light it up for you. 
There you go. You can't see it with the lights, but I do do a little bit of filming in the dark just so you can see the different variations of lights behind the chicken. I think this turned out so amazing and I can't wait to do it with other wood cutouts. Got enough, oh yeah, 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 mm, 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 mm